Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we are going to be turning the moon or actually replacing the moon with a pulsar. So this is going to be ridiculous. So let's um, quickly get a pulsar in. So I saved one from another simulation here. So it's called Hot Hulse or Huse or something. So as you can see, yeah, this is a pulsar by... Yeah, you can just tell because look at that massive magnetic field which is producing this like cool, cool like... I don't even know what to call that, like massive spray in our other, I don't know what to call it, massive trail almost, it's a disc, that's it, it's sort of disc shape, so as we can see, the pulsar is now what the where the moon used to be, and it's actually lighting up the earth as well, which is pretty cool, but yeah, this isn't going to go too well, so let's make the earth orbit the um, pulsar here, so we don't want it getting pulled in, so let's do this, as soon as I hit play, the earth is going to be pretty much yeah the, uh, the earth's going to be screwed basically but let's um scroll down time a lot more hit play and then we'll keep an eye on earth so its temperature is skyrocketing right now let's um go to earth itself actually so let's go right here and it should be wow it says 2600 look at how small this thing is this thing is tiny if we go to the chart mode quickly and um go all the way down here this thing is very, very small. As you can see, it's the smallest object in the solar system as of now. So, yeah, like there's Orcus, Sedna, Make Make, Eris, Pluto, and then all of the other planets all the way up to Earth, which is right here. And for some reason, it's frozen, which makes absolutely no sense since it's actually 3,000 degrees. Let's hit enter there. Hopefully, that will do something. Let's hit play again. It should be heating up. Oh, it's being torn up as well. Okay. Wow. So it's got, because this thing has, yeah, the mass of 1.8 suns, but it's very, very small and dense. So whenever you put a planet near it, it's going to shred the planet apart. So, yeah, this isn't good. Oh, my, oh, my God. Okay, it's heating up now. Okay, oh, my, wow. Okay, so Earth has literally just been shredded apart, and it's still being torn apart now. Oh, wow. Okay, that's getting very, very small, as we can see here. And now Hulse, or Hulse, I'm just going to go Hulse, I, well, I think that's how you say it, so, has now got its own ring system of just what's left of Earth. Well, okay, that is, that's pretty cool. So, let's go back to Earth itself, or what's left of it. Is Earth even here? Okay, so Earth does still exist. Yeah, it's very, very small now. It's about the size of any dwarf planet, a little smaller, but it's still getting smaller. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Okay, so... Earth pretty much no longer exists because oh, it's literally just an asteroid now. So it's still being torn apart. This is ridiculous. It could go all the way and literally just be completely eliminated, which would be awesome. But yeah, it's literally an asteroid now, like 96 kilometers in size. Is that it? Are, are we finished? Okay. I've, oh, no, it's still getting smaller. 24.9. Any smaller? Okay, I think that is it. So, wow, okay. Well, that's a fragment I'm selected. Wait, is Earth gone? So Earth is completely gone, so nothing's left. All of Earth has been destroyed. So this pulsar has literally just shredded Earth apart. So that's what would happen if it was a moon of Earth, or it replaced the moon. But as we can see, the whole solar system is now in trouble because of this pulsar. So let's speed up time a lot more. And um, prepare for the craziness that unfolds. So is it going to have any effect on the sun, I wonder? Okay, all these fragments are kind of annoying. Can we remove them? Can't, no, there's no button to do it. That kind of sucks. Okay, I know what to do. So if we just pause quickly and select all of these objects right here, and then press the delete button, we can get rid of them like that. So let's do that. And the last fragment is gone. All right, there's one more. Okay, gone. All right, cool. So that's all the fragments gone. Now, as you can see, the pulsar seems to be connecting with the sun a bit. So this is going to be insane. So let's speed up time a lot more. Okay, I don't know why it's going so slow. We may have broken the game. Okay, it is approaching. Okay, this is very, very slow. I don't know why it's doing this. If I actually reload it, so it's, um, let's put the graphics down to um, low. So let's do that. Let's save the simulation and then reopen it. So let's go. Um, I have so many save simulations now. I haven't deleted them. All right, so where is it? Where, where is it? Um, please. There, there it is. Okay, here we are. So if we zoom in again, and now slow down time a lot more, because you obviously don't want it playing like that. Let's go to about a few months now, hit play. Okay, there we go, that's what we wanted. And looks like they just hit each other, so 
Let's then um, get that again as we have it saved. Okay, so slow down even more this time. So it looks like there's about to have a massive explosion in the middle here. So let's um, slow down even more. It's been a few days. Okay, here we go. So the sun is on a direct course with this pulsar. So this isn't going to be good. And Mars must have taken a massive beat in there. But they're coming in. And boom. So that's that. If we ever had a pulsar on our system, this is what would happen. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that the solar system has been destroyed. <laughs> Look at these planets now. Like this is all that's left. <laughs> of these and they're still getting smaller like look at these poor planets they're just being just incinerated planet 9 is probably the safest one since it's the furthest away but as we can see Jupiter and Saturn should be getting smaller as you can see right about there Saturn's still large for some reason that's very strange but Jupiter on the other hand is now just a rock so this is the core of Jupiter this is all that's left oh wow even Pluto survived Pluto, Sedna and all of these other dwarf planets all survived so what happened to Venus and Mercury and stuff? They, okay, they're just rem they're just just tiny little things now. Okay, so poor Mercury's still still there. So that's the smallest again. So Vesta. Okay, this is all that's left of Venus. Wow. Okay, that is insane. So the largest object is now Saturn, which is interesting. But yeah, I don't really think anything is left now. <laughs> so if we just speed up time a lot, lot, lot more now. The whole solar system will just break apart, and these are all now just rogue objects. Because Earth is long gone, that's the only thing that's truly gone, but... There we go, I guess. That's that. So, another shorter video of Universe Sandbox, but... Yeah, we're good. Like, that, I think that was a success. <laughs> uh, destroying the solar system there, so there we go. Very, very cool. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this shorter episode, because... Obviously, it's today, it's sort of a, my first ever double upload on Universe Sandbox like this, so... Yeah. Hopefully you all enjoy. So we're currently at, um, I said this in the last video, so I don't know if you've watched it yet, but we are currently at 234 subscribers. And now our little goal is, can we get to 300 before the end of April? So we currently have 24 days. Yeah, I think it was 24 days until the end of the month. So can we get 300 subs in 24 days? Because we already have 234. So that means we need another 66, I want to say, till we can get 300. So that would be awesome. But anyways, enough of me asking for that. So make sure you um, comment an idea down below as well, because I am looking for ideas right now. So, yeah. Any ideas, no matter what it is, absolutely anything that is um, appropriate to this sort of stuff, anything at all, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I read it, because yeah, not too many people comment, so I can read all the comments, no problem. So, yeah. Leave a comment down below if you want your idea to be featured. And, yeah. That'd be awesome. And also, should I live stream Universe Sandbox at some point? Because I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, should I live stream it? Because that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, Neptune, my favourite planet. Still in, still in one piece. Okay, cool. Alright, anyways. So, let's end this video right here. So, hopefully you all enjoyed, like I said. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.